Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 25th anniversary of the Optica Executive Forum. Thank you very much for being with us today. What a great day to be alive. First of all, I would like to thank the sponsors today without which we wouldn't be able to put this fantastic program in front of you. Go Photon, Cisco, AR Labs, Photon Delta, Infinera, Enlitra, Lumentum, MRSI Micronic, New Photonics, and the Microphotonics Center of MIT. Thank you very much for all your support. But most important, there's a group of people here who dedicated their free time, their weekends, they brainstormed with Optica staff, they contacted the speakers, they got lots of challenges from the speakers, and thanks to them, they have put, in my opinion, in my opinion, this is the best program in the history of a photonics event. So I would like to thank, from the bottom of my heart, Alexandra Boscovich from Corning, Tim Doiron from Infinera, Mark Feiler from a company still to be announced, Lisa Huff from Omdia, Sanjay Parthasathi from Coherent, Subu Subramanian from the Ver Ver Verition Fund Management, Michael Levy from Lightweight Logic, Chris Fisner from Avicenna, and Andrew Lord from British Telecom. A big round of applause to these people who put the best program ever together. You know, when you are in front of 400 CEOs and CTOs of the photonic industry, you are a bit scared of the level of IQ in the room. Allow me to start with a bit of a show of hands. Uh, could the people whose business has not yet, has not yet been impacted by AI, could you raise your hand? If your business has not yet been impacted by AI, that's very brave of you, by the way. This is one person in the whole room who raised the hand. Everyone else didn't raise the hand. Is it incredible how fast AI has made an impact in our industry? Who knows what this is? This is not the increased performance of silicon photonics. This is NVIDIA's stock price. From $36 in 2018 to $942 at the JGC conference last week in this very place. And I am very happy to say that this is because of us. Some of you were here last week at the JGC conference for NVIDIA, and many of you saw this. The rate at which we're advancing computing is insane. Over the course of the last eight years, we've increased computation by 1,000 times. Eight years, 1,000 times. Uh, people think we make GPUs, and, and we do, but GPUs don't look the way they used to. This is the most advanced GPU in the world in production today. This is Hopper. Hopper changed the world. This is Blackwell. 208 billion transistors, and so I can see that there's a small line between two dies. This is the first time two dies have abutted like this together. There's 10 terabytes of data between it, 10 terabytes per second, so that these two, these two sides of the Blackwell chip have no clue which side they're on. There's no memory locality issues, no cache issues. It's just one giant chip. And this is because of us, of the photonic industry. And we'd like to thank NVIDIA for all the support they are giving to Optica. Where is Ashkan? Thank you very much for being with us today. Many of you are partnering with NVIDIA. We're going to hear later from our keynote speaker, Matt Murphy, our particular partnership. So allow me to tell you also that AI is not only affecting us, but also our customers. I tend to travel a lot, and I was at the Mobile World Congress, and many of you were there with me, and we also saw this from Deutsche Telekom. This morning, we signed a deal at Deutsche Telekom with five other operators to build our own LLM, model for telco-specific services. And then there is, for telcos, a big, big space. Deutsche Telekom is making in Europe alone 10 billion of revenues with B2B customers. And these companies are looking desperately to get a solution for artificial intelligence solutions for their specific business. And here we can become facilitator with the skills we have, both on the AI, but as well in cloud, and the connectivity element, which will make a business for us. So the demand is there. The demand is there. So allow me that, until now, have been extremely positive, 
The demand is there, but I see, I see a challenge. Many of you saw a few weeks ago that uh, Intel, and we have many people from Intel here, thank you for your support, received a grant of 20 billion US dollars. Really huge grant. I, I, I read all the news about it, and I didn't hear the word photonics in it. And that got me very worried. We are today here, some of the most important CEOs of the photonic industry. And I feel sometimes worried that when it comes to the big trends, now AI, a few years ago, cloud computing, a few years back, LiDAR for automotive, we tend to be always the, the little brother of these major trends. And they cannot do it without us. I think we should all work closer together. And this is the main purpose of this event. The fact that all of you need to work closer together, have a united voice. For that, at Optica, we are taking that very seriously, and we are trying our best to make sure that the photonics industry has a joint voice, together with the policymakers, together with the investors, together with the public figures, and together with the different end users. So I would like to make a call for your support. The Optica Corporate Engagement Council has challenged the Optica staff with putting together the Global Photonics Economic Forum the World Economic Forum for the Photonic Industry. So many of you, I know, already told me that you are going to be there. This is the week after ECOG. And for the venue, we wanted to have the Davos for Photonics. So we look everywhere, and I travel everywhere to many different cities. We had decided that the Davos of Photonics will be Malaga. Malaga not only because it's exciting and accessible, but also because or the different support that they are getting from public authorities in Europe and worldwide to set it up at the Silicon Valley of the south of Europe. What we want to do here is to bring together the different policy makers and end users on the most important markets, from AI to long-range telecom, from precision agriculture to LiDAR, and to bring them in touch with you and to have a joint discussion of where the photonic industry will be in the coming years. Us, the photonic industry, driving this discussion. Because I know many of you have been to Davos, and they have been giving you small presentations. It is time for people to know that we are a $600 billion industry, as big as the microelectronic industry. And you can quote me on that. Let's have a common voice. So on the 1st and 2nd of October, I want to see all of you at the Global Photonics Economic Forum. But today, today is all about this event. I would like to give you two pieces of homework. The first one, you came to listen to presentations, but we offer you the most exciting networking initiative in the photonic industry. Make meaningful connections. For the coffee break, prepare your answer to the Optica question. What can you do for others, and what can others do for you? And now allow me to bring to the stage a person who has contributed dramatically to the success of Optica in industry. I'm talking about Tim Doiron from Infinera. Tim, the floor is yours.